Okay, so how exactly is that you change the air filters on this car? Well, basically you have to take off this plastic cover and you do that by doing this. Pop, 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 and then you should be popping it from the rear as well. It has two prongs, one over here and one over there. Uh, after unclipping this and unscrewing this, you can go about and unscrew the air box which is kept over here in one screw and also over there that one good so this is the left side fil uh, air filter the right side you have just to unscrew this one uh, you have to take this grommet off, put it aside and then you can easily access this and also you have to access this yeah here you need to use a flathead screwdriver this is not necessarily needed but it comes in handy to reach uh, screws where your hand cannot normally reach and over here I have an E10 not very visible but you get a point so it's an E10 socket first you have this screw just need to break it loose and you have this one over here okay after you break it loose you can Leave it over there and start unclipping this sensor and in order to do that you need to press this tail over here and pull it gently out and here it is and you can put it aside over here on the wiring and that's kind of it basically you do not need to unscrew it from here now you need to go about and unscrew this okay and right over here in the bottom corner you need to take this off and in order to do that uh, much more easily, you can unclip it from over here like this. Don't head the screwdriver, and then you can pry it out gently. You don't need to use very much force. And here you have it. You can put it aside. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it over here. And now, let's get back to it. And now, Now here comes the hard part. You either have a you either have a magnetic socket or you got a magnet. Be careful, you need to pry it out like I did. See? So the trick is as follows like this. Okay, so you gotta wiggle it out, but just by end of it, 
like this and it comes out and in you go with the box you practically do the same thing for the other side as well so the, let's get started Unscrew this. Okay. Take the socket. Put it over there. Let's see if. We... Nope. It can't be undone by hand. So you, that's why you definitely need the ratchet. Probably if you have stronger hands than mine, you can do it, but in this case, it's much easier. Do it like that. So, once again, unclip this, take it out. Take it like this, in the box you go. And now we take the socket. Use your finger, keep it in place. And in the box you go. Second one, which is over here. Unscrew it. Till you feel that it is completely unscrewed and then you can reach this one out with your hands it doesn't really want to come out in the first place yeah basically it comes out again with this over here so now how you go about this one Pull it out, pull it upwards, and basically this is it, yes, so it's a 10 minute job, take them off. And this is the left airbox out of the C320 CDI, basically it is attached, um, it is a two piece airbox. It has four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one over there. And basically after you undo them, you just have to take it apart like this. Be careful not to blast anything while you're at it. Is this the one? Yep, that's the one. And it's C2504. So what you need to do is grab it like this or basically do it like that it comes off very easily and then you reattach it so you have oh, oh, almost forgot the assembly is the opposite uh, of the disassembly so so this is the right hand uh, airbox of the C320. Again, it is uh, a two-piece airbox. It is attached in four screws, one here, one here, one here, and then another one here. Basically, how you take it apart is very simple. You unscrew the two screws and put it all the way down. And then, this is the clean part of it, and uh, this is the dirty part of it. You can see it is very dirty. It's same story for this one as well. So they get very dirty over time. You need to change them regularly to be sure that you do not have a clogged air filter box. Okay. Oh, and why I use this? Because um, over here you can see 
that they recommend to use man filters or Hummel filters. So I chose man. This is the proper way to go. And then you put it back together and screw it completely up. Thanks for watching.